Hey everyone, today we brought an interesting topic. So let's start off with this question. Do you have PCOS? So September is PCOS Awareness Month. It's important because about 5 to 15 percent of the women between the ages of 15 and 44 have PCOS. And yet, there's a lot of confusion about what it is. No need to Google it. It got you. Just stay with the video till the end. Now let's start with basics. PCOS is a misleading acronym, which stands for Polycystic Ovarian Syndrome. That sounds like it means having cysts in your ovaries, but that's not the whole story. And not every cyst in your ovary is a PCOS. So when does one get PCOS? PCOS is caused by a hormone imbalance. It's often hard to diagnose, but typically it includes two features. The first one is hyperandrogenism. It's called when you have more male hormones that is androgens or testosterone that is typically present in males. And the second one is ovulatory dysfunction, meaning irregular ovulation which makes your menstrual cycle irregular. Multiple small cysts or follicles containing immature eggs on your ovaries, hence it's called as polycystic in the polycystic ovarian syndrome. How do you know if you have PCOS? You might experience many symptoms and the first change people often notice are irregular cycles. Your menstrual cycle is time to when you ovulate. So if that's off, likely thanks to excess androgens, then your period may be sporadic, long or irregular. Some people might experience hair loss or excessive hair growth. More than 70% of the women with PCOS have hirsutism, which is a condition called as unwanted hair growth. They culprit again those extra androgens we mentioned. Some people experience acne, which is another side effect of those male hormones which can make your skin more oily. Some people might complain of dark skin patches. Insulin resistance or issues with insulin secretion are likely to blame. Insulin is a hormone that controls how much glucose or sugar is present in your blood and this could be a part of the hormonal imbalance linked to PCOS. What dangerous side effects could PCOS produce? The side effects could be infertility. Since the people with PCOS might not ovulate regularly and that might make it hard to get pregnant. But the good news there are fertility treatments out there that can help. Sleep apnea or unwanted wakefulness in between your sleeps at night. Adults with PCOS experience this more than the people without the syndrome too. This might be related to insulin resistance and metabolic syndrome. The patients also have a risk of metabolic syndrome. That's the name for a bunch of conditions that often occur together including high blood pressure, high blood sugar, and abnormal cholesterol levels that increase the risk of cardiovascular disease. It's also been found out that more than half of the women with PCOS get type 2 diabetes or pre-diabetes by the age of 40. Depression Women with PCOS experience it more often than the general population. Risk of COVID-19 New research is looking at whether people with PCOS could be more at risk of infection. Who are much likely to be in the risk of PCOS? So these are the risk factors to consider. The first one is genetics. 
there are no specific tests for PCOS, but you could be more susceptible if your mom, sister, or aunt has it. Race Some studies show that there might be a higher incidence in women of Black, Middle Eastern, and South Asian descent. Insulin Levels Up to 70% of the women with PCOS have insulin resistance, meaning that their cells can't process glucose effectively and that can lead to weight gain. If you have the symptoms that I previously mentioned, it's not confirmatory that you have a PCOS. But the similar symptoms could also mean a different kind of hormone disorder. And a few examples are a thyroid disorder. One of the thyroid disorders could also throw off your cycle. High prolactin levels. Another possible trigger for irregular periods because the prolactin can mess with your estrogen levels. And the third condition called as congenital adrenal hyperplasia in which there is an overgrowth of the adrenal gland and this can lead to extra male hormone secretion too mimicking the features of PCOS. What do you need to do if you think you have PCOS? First and foremost, you should go to your doctor. We mean your gynecologist or your endocrinologist. He'll run some tests that include a physical examination, blood test and even ask you to drink a sugar beverage that can test for your insulin resistance to figure out what's going on. You might have an ultrasound done and during an ultrasound your doctor would check your ovaries for multiple cysts and examine the lining of your uterus which could be thicker than the average if you have PCOS. You might also have an pelvic examination to make sure your reproductive organs are functioning as they should. And the important thing, you need to advocate for yourself. PCOS is tough to diagnose, but at the same time, it can be overdiagnosed. You know your body best, and if you don't feel comfortable sharing your concerns with your doctor, it might be a time to find a new one. You're free to do that, but consider treatment. A doctor might prescribe drugs that help your body respond to insulin. They could also talk to you about your fertility meds and if your body needs to help ovulating. Hormonal birth control pills can help manage acne and excessive hair growth. They advise you to prioritize exercise and healthy eating. It can be challenging to stay fit because your body may be more resistant to insulin. But managing a healthy weight can help you get your menstrual cycle back on track and prevent or reverse the metabolic syndrome. Eating low-carb diet, healthy fats and protein and limiting processed foods and added sugars could help regulate hormones. And you know we're gonna say it, regular exercise is always a good idea. Join a sisterhood. Yep. That's a word some PCOS support groups use. To conclude, PCOS is a condition that millions of millennial women deal with, but it can take years before many get treatment. If you are experiencing symptoms like infertility or unexplainable weight gain, talk to your doctor and advocate for yourself. Although there isn't exactly a cure, help is out there to manage your symptoms and side effects. That's all for today. Hope you liked the video. If you do like the video, do give it a thumbs up and leave a subscription down below. Till then, made it, made it for you.